Hi, my name is Luis Parada and um, I'm a researcher in the neurofibromatosis field. Um, today we were talking about using the mouse to study a human disease. And the power of the mouse is that it turns out to have the same genes as humans do. And so that we can actually mimic genetic diseases in the mouse with a tremendous amount of fidelity. Not always exactly the same, but sometimes better than others. And as it turns out in neurofibromatosis, it has given us a tremendous window of insight into the disease in ways that we could have never inferred from studying patients. So that in fact today I think it's fair to say that the mouse is teaching us things about neurofibromatosis that we never knew were understood in the past, and importantly giving us new windows of therapeutic opportunity. So the idea is if we can cure the mouse, we should be able to cure the patient. Today's discussion centered around different aspects of using the mouse to model the disease. And one of the really important take-home lessons from today's talks was the idea that there are components of tumors in neurofibromatosis that actually come from elsewhere. There's a cell called the mast cell that actually originates in the bone marrow and not at all where the big plexiform tumors form that is essential for the formation of those tumors. And so one of the great exciting new advances is the idea that if we block the mast cells migration to the sites of tumor formation that we may be able to prevent tumor formation.